Why is it that I can sit down with someone, I can share my heart, I can let my guard down, I can truly express the hardship that's happening right now in my life, and I'm sitting with someone who cares for me, and they share their experience, their knowledge, their wisdom, their logic, and they even hit me with choice words that just set me back, and I start to rethink you know, some things in my life. But I walk away, and I'm not feeling comforted. I'm not really feeling that peace. And then I can sit with someone else, and they might not say as many words, but they pray for me, and they look me eye to eye, and they point me to scripture. And I walk away from that experience, and I feel comforted, and I feel this sense of peace that's fallen over me. Why is that? Because both care for me, both want to see the best for me, but one is actually relying on the power of the Holy Spirit as the great comforter. Today, we're going to be looking at John chapter 14, verse 16, and we want to take a look at the Holy Spirit as the great comforter. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and take that out right now, and you can follow along with me. Just a note, we're going to be in the King James Version, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So it reads, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Now in the NIV translation, we're going to find that that comforter is actually advocate. Why is that? Well, because the Greek word that's used, parakletos, it actually expresses comforter, teacher, and advocate all at the same time. In fact, when that word is used correctly, we're going to find that it talks about someone who is summoned, who is called to one side, especially in the need of help. And when you need, when you need assistance, that person is there. And that's the Holy Spirit. So it's hard to talk about the comforter without addressing those other two because it's constant and active. It's not something that's situational. I know for myself, I've fallen into seasons where I call on God only in the toughest of moments. Only when I'm experiencing hardship and trials do I go to God. And what you and I can take relief in is that the Holy Spirit is not transactional. He doesn't exist from situation to situation. He is active and ongoing. He is with us. He is on our side, literally, always as a believer. Jesus ascended so that we could get the Holy Spirit, the great comforter, teacher, and advocate. In fact, I want to leave you with this image today that I hope is going to encourage you as you move forward today. That word, that Greek word prokletos, well, it holds context in a military sense. In New Testament times, when soldiers went into battle, they would pick a partner. They would pair up with someone, that prokletos. They would pair up with someone so that when they got into battle, they knew they had someone on their side. In fact, when the battle was at its fiercest, when things were getting intense, they knew that they could literally back up and touch and be back to back with that soldier, that partner. And they knew that that soldier had their back protected and guarded them. That's a picture I want to leave you of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit hasn't left you. As a believer, he was given to us. He is there in the moments of our aid and our help, but also there in the ups of life as well. He is the great comforter and desires to comfort you now. So today, I hope that you're encouraged by that. God bless.